Nicaragua, Nicaragua. In February 1990, as people lived lives as they normally would, elections were held in the Central American country of Nicaragua, pitting the FSLN Sandinista government of Daniel Ortega and his running mate Sergio Ramirez against UNO, the National Opposition Union, a wide range of 14 opposition parties with Violeta Chamorro as their candidate and Virgilio Godoy as their running mate. During the 1990 elections, Daniel Ortega used military and government vehicles to bring large crowds to his Sandinista rallies and had songs written about him playing at his rallies. Thousands of people tolerated the sweltering heat to attend the sometime carnival-like rallies. Daniel Ortega joined the FSLN in 1963 but was convicted of bank robbery and exiled to Cuba in 1967. Ortega was working his way up the ranks when the Sandinistas came to power in 1979 by overthrowing Anastasio Somoza, and Ortega was elected president in 1984. His presidency was plagued by a civil war that had the American-funded Contras fighting the Sandinistas. The Contras were funded by the United States selling weapons to Iran in an illegal scheme run by U.S. Colonel Oliver North, known as the Iran-Contra scandal during Ronald Reagan's presidency. The people in Nicaragua tired of the fighting and a weak economy and Ortega lost the 1990 elections. Just before the 1990 election the Nicaraguan government under Daniel Ortega pardoned and released as a goodwill gesture about a thousand rebel supporters and former National Guardsmen who were considered opponents of the Sandinista government. The 1990 election was closely watched by the OAS and a delegation from the United Nations headed by former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and included U.S. Republican Senator John Danforth, who was a member of the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. <laughs> Newspaper publisher Violeta Chamorro became the head of the UNO political party which was a grassroots effort by 14 political groups with nothing in common except to defeat the Sandinistas. Despite a huge lead by the Sandinistas, suffering a broken kneecap from a fall, confined to a wheelchair and riding in the back of trucks, Violeta Chamorro was able to campaign at much smaller rallies than the Sandinistas in villages throughout the country. The presidential administration of George H.W. Bush gave UNO $9 million in campaign funds and funneled almost $50 million to the Contras, which became the armed wing of UNO, assassinating more than 50 FSLM candidates and helping to distribute UNO leaflets. In February of 1990, Violetto Chamorro became Nicaragua's first female president and Daniel Ortega agreed to a peaceful transfer of power.